Hello everybody, this is Xenokade 2543 welcoming you back to Let's Play uh, Final Fantasy IV The After Years. We're here in Edge's Tale again, doing, just stopping in for some shopping. Uh, you sell like the general recovery items, okay, I don't need a lot of those. I'm probably going to want a few tents, at least that many. Don't think I'm going to need emergency exits that much. I will walk out of places. This isn't the... Uh, I'm not trying to go super fast. I will probably take a metal boomerang. I'm going to take one metal boomerang just to make sure I have that. Because those are going to be quite... That's actually quite useful. Uh, I don't really want Campo Gi, I don't think. I'll stick with Shinobi gear. We're going to go for one metal boomerang, one Kodachi. Just for, you know, a slight attack boost. And... Because I think the metal boomerangs are a little less accurate. But a little more... I don't know. We're at 90% accuracy right now. If I equip that... 93%. Okay, yeah, it is a slight accuracy downgrade. But... I think it's going to be worth kind of meeting in the middle with just a little bit of an accuracy downgrade to 90%. But... Having the metal boomerang on will hit flying enemies harder as well. Nothing resists, as far as I know, nothing resists the throw element, but things are weak to the throw element, so. Making edge throw element, do throw element damage is really good, plus it means I can put him in the back row. Which is also huge, because all that matters I think is the right hand in terms of the attack. So, since edge has a boomerang in the right hand, he can be in the back row and still do normal damage. It's wonderful. Anyway, we're gonna actually make, get started on his tail, which, on his, like, the real meat of his tail, which is here in Cave Epon. Yeah, we'll leave Auto Battle on. Edge is able to just destroy everything, as you might expect. He is, a, I think, lower level than he joined in the original game, in, like, Final Fantasy IV. Is a little confusing. Yeah, he's lower leveled than he joined the party in Final Fantasy IV. Because he joins at 25 in Final Fantasy IV, but he's down to 15 now. Oh well. Go Ninja Go. I can eat fire. Fire is fine. Edge is powering up. Uh, we're gonna grab all the treasures. Hey, sword rats and gatling hogs. There's no new enemies in here. Not in the cave of Eblon. In this first area. There isn't I don't think there's any new enemies in this like cave section. I'm just taking stuff for experience, because experience is good. Mutual gloves. Upgrade over the armlet. I would say. They're not spectacular, though. I would like something better. Oh, the shop's closed. Rune armwood actually is very interesting. I'm gonna equip that. Because uh, it'll boost some things. Five hundred gil, I'm not gonna spend. I'm assuming the secret passages are mostly in the same places. Let's visit this little grave site. No. Oh. Poor Edge. No, oh, that was sweet. Moving on. Alright, potion. Manji Shuriken. Interesting. We do have a Kempo in my inventory. Uh, attack 40 for use of the throw command. Okay, yeah, it's all things that can be thrown. Abilities, throw, he throws a weapon to cause damage, attack and steal at the same time, he can do that. I don't really know if there's much that I care about stealing right now. Can we not get ambushed? I know Edge can't heal himself. So, all this damage is permanent, essentially. Except if I use a tent or something. I think what phase in the moon I would want things on. 
Like, I don't know if it matters that much. I might not want full moon, but other than that, I think I don't care. And, oh, never mind, Edward Heal Pill. Well, that answers the healing question. He's got a lot of heals, too. He has 11 more uses of that. Oh, Heal Pill is so nice. We're just going to keep taking out everything as we go. Because these enemies are real squishy. And can't even hit us. Edge is really good. But he need, he does need some more levels. Echo herbs don't really care. Back attack's a little rude, but these don't do physical attacks, so I'm not really scared of them. They're just going to blood feast me. I can just auto battle. They are also very weak to boomerang, to the metal boomerang. They don't like the metal boomerang. I figured they would put something up there. should still do about 500 damage, right? Yep, over 500 damage. Yeah, we're not getting any penalty for the back row, even though one of his weapons is not ranged. No penalty. Which is exactly how I want it. I want no penalties. If I can avoid it. If I can avoid penalties from back row, I'm going to avoid them. That's why I have one boomerang and then a sword. Because the sword is more accurate and was going to do more damage overall than the boomerang, but the boomerang... Having the one boomerang exploits the weakness and allows me to put Edge in the back row, giving him a bunch more defense. Which is really good. Do I need to heal pill? I should probably heal pill. He's getting a lot of HP already. He's almost up to the HP that he had when he joined in the vanilla game, and he has he's still six levels shy. Like, he's only level 19, I say. I mean, only 19. He's already doing better on levels than any of the other four are. The other four ninjas that we had. They couldn't have elixirs there. That would just be too OP. Elixirs in those chests would just be too good. Oh well. He also has a lot more MP than he did. Already, because he starts with 60 and... FF4 vanilla in the original FF4, but now he has like 80 something. Or, yeah, 88. That's a lot more. Yeah, I did grab that chest down here. I think I did. At least. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I wouldn't have skipped that secret passage. I know it's like one that exists from the original FF4, so I would know where it is. Get rid of all of the enemies. Edge is really power leveling. Got it. Okay, Cottage. That's cool. Yeah, I think the only phase in the moon I really want to ignore is the full moon. Uh, there is a fun enemy, actually, here. In the new moon. On the new moon, which I might want to try. Although it might be a bad idea to do that. Uh, yet. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have that spell yet, which is, I think you might learn. I'm gonna hope you learn it. So you might not want to take on the new moon enemy. Because the new moon enemy is a little bit spooky. And I assume I'll be able to come back here later. Since we have ac we'll have access to Eblon for the challenge dungeon, I'm assuming we'll be able to come back into this cave. At the very least. Edge has gained another level. Jeez, Edge is just gaining all the levels, which is honestly good. I don't mind it. It's just... wow. Kogarasu boosts attack even more. I'm going to leave the, boom, the metal boomerang on if I can, because I like having him back row, able to hit things from the back row. If possible, you know. Soma drop. Cool. Uh, since we have a save point here, I'm going to use the heal pill. 
up to 800 HP already. Well over 800 HP. Jeez, we're only level 21, come on. Right? Oh, I skipped through that text box way too fast. Ah, he's remembering. Edge is having flashbacks. Remember Rubicante? That was a fun time. Cottage? We're gonna take a few more encounters, if we can. I do think the new moon enemy is probably going to be too scary for us at this point, although I have been taking quite a, quite a few encounters. And Edge is probably approaching levels of, like, end game levels for the tail. The encounters in here are worth a bit, they're worth quite a bit too. Like, I'm surprised by how much experience I'm getting from some of these. Uh, being able to auto battle just makes everything so much nicer. Uh, let's organize. Oh, I'm saving again. What face of the moon is it? It's waxing, so we're not going to be anywhere close to the new moon. I'm not going to bother resting to new. Resting to new sounds like a bad idea. Honestly, waxing is probably the ideal moon. Because I think some ninja stuff gets boosted. I don't know. No, I think ninja stuff gets boosted on the new moon, so. Waxing is... Maxing is fine though because it lowers black magic and I don't do black magic, right? I don't think I do black magic. Pretty sure I don't do black magic. We're gonna head further in, into the Tower of Babel. There are new enemies here. We will have some new enemies. <laughs> this is the third time. Uh, Proto Beam Cannons are new. They also are not very strong. So we can one-shot them. Just like everything else here. But yeah, we got a couple new enemies. Just a regular new enemy. You know, Proto Beam Cannon 2. Or no, just Proto Beam Cannon. Never mind, not 2. I was, I, that was, I was looking at Zoo, the Zoo right next to it. Zoo 2, but no, Proto Beam Can is just a regular enemy. High Potion there. Oh my lag. Uh... We found two Belphagors. I think this is a forced fight. You better not leave me behind. Oh hey! It's someone I care about. Wait. Is Gale weak? Or percentage damage? I think Gale might be percentage damage. That's awesome. Yay, Tsukanawa's joined us. I am happy. Um. We can't do split. So we'll just do that. And I'm assuming he came back with all his gear and stuff. Oh my gosh, thank goodness for do Thank you for dodging. Oh, goodness. Okay. Hit you hard. Belphagors are tough. But Tsukanawa also has the boomerang, so we should be good here. We're gonna need to just be active about healing. Edge and Tsukanawa gained levels. Yay, we got Tsukanawa! I'm happy. I like party members joining. So Tsukanawa can also stay in the back row, which is wonderful. Why? Uh, row. Tsukanawa goes here. He's got a metal boomerang and a Kodachi, which is probably the best I can give him. Yeah, I don't have anything like better to give him other than, well, I can give you Mithril Gloves, I suppose. You can have that. That'll help. Yeah. This is gonna be good. 
And we've beaten some actually new enemies. Fun fact. Belphegor 3. They have question mark, question mark, question mark. Good. I think I can auto battle. Yeah. Tsukanawa is doing enough damage that we can just auto battle this. And now we have to split our experience between Edge and Tsukanawa, but that's okay. I would rather split the experience and have a little bit of a slower grind than. and still get Tsukanawa some experience. A great bow, I don't really care about. I mean, it's better than the crossbow. But no one, we don't have someone who's using a crossbow at the moment. Or using a bow at the moment, I should say. It's Flamehound. Ice will be good here. Oh, hello, Izano Izayoi. You're very welcome. Uh, you are also back row because she has a bow. I'm going to put back on auto battle because auto battle should do it here. Uh, she should be doing... Actually, I'm going to take auto battle off for a second to give her the new... New bow. Turn back on auto battle. Izioi has joined. I'm going to probably stick her in the middle because she needs to be in the middle. And she's learned heal self, which is pretty good, probably. But yeah, Izioi's back. <laughs> okay. And Izioi is in the party. This is wonderful. I like how they get a full heal. Like, Izio gets a full heal after doing this. I have to reset everyone. Like, stop putting Edge back in the front row! I don't want him in the front row. How hard is this to understand? Um, we'll heal Pill. You up. And you. That's gonna be fine. Heal self is expensive. So, probably not gonna use a ton of that. Uh, Izayoi, equipment- oh, I also want to order- put Edge up there. Iz I want Izayoi in the middle because Izayoi's accuracy is going to be the most concerning. Her accuracy is 78%. Not amazing. Edge and- yeah, these guys have 90%, 90 plus percent accuracies. Izayoi's accuracy is a little low, so I'm going to put her in the middle because she'll need it. I mean, Edge's stats are better, but that's fine. Izayoi really needs the accuracy boost. Battle Axe. Uh, this tells me that we're, I think I know who we're getting next. An Aether. Cool. Uh, there is a new enemy up here, though, that I want to find. Hey, it's a new enemy. Proto Clockwork. This is the new enemy. We can stay on auto battle. We're also going to take out the Proto Beam Cannons, because we may not. But yeah, that's our new enemy. Well, we have Flamehound 3s. Flamehound 3 as well. We don't know anything about them. But Proto Clockwork 2. They are machines. They can drop lit arrows, which would be very good, actually. I would love if they dropped lit arrows, because lit arrows would be amazing to have access to. Because right now, Easy Oi just has access to ice arrows, I believe. And I could give her, like, Kodachis and a Thorn Whip, but no. Or a Kodachi or a Thorn Whip, but nah. Manji Shuriken. I'm not really worried about darting things. I don't like darting things that much. That's just not my playstyle. More Proto Clockworks. Beat them up. Come on. Beat them up. We're now splitting our experience three ways, so, you know, we're getting less experience per fight, but that's okay. Uh, we do have two new enemies here, but they're both forced encounters, so I'm not really worried about anything on this floor. Back attack's a little annoying, but not the end of the world. Although the Liliths are kind of strong. Nice, you can't do that to Edge. We do get a lot of levels. We do get a lot of experience, though. Um, you've got the most MP, so we're going to use it on you. It's nice that I got all the people that can heal first. Although I think we're about to head of another uh, scripted fight. Yeah, these proto clockworks are not like the other proto clockworks. Hello, uh, you. 
Why did you single target Zengetsu? I get taken off auto battle. I just want auto battle. I don't care. Like, I can just auto fight this fight. But yeah, Zengetsu's back with all of his equipment. Everyone comes back with their full equipment equipped already, so it's fine. Yay, we got Zengetsu. More party members. We'll see how many party members I can get. We're going to actually end up with like a full party of five by the end of this, probably. Can we not? No, I want uh, you in the middle. Stop rearranging my party. I like it this way. This is the way I want it. For very r good reasons. Uh, let's protect you. You don't even have a better hat. I don't really have a better hat for you, though. Let's give you a silver armlet. Trident's gonna be the best for you. Shinobi just fine. Uh, I can go for Iron Armlet over Iron Gloves. They're slightly better. Yeah, we want Auto Battle. Auto Battle's fine. I think I have a better axe for Zengetsu. Axe, or not Zengetsu. Zengetsu's not an axe user. Zengetsu's the spear user. But maybe he can use axes. Let's see. No, he can't. Right. Partisan. Uh, what is this? Is this a spear? It's a spear. That's what I figured. We want the spear. Spear, go. We want spear. Also, those proto clockworks were technically new. Yeah. New enemy. Proto clockwork one. We have another scripted fight against Frost Beasts. Hey, it's you! Yeah, you're trying to make me use ninjutsu, but I don't want to use ninjutsu. I want to just attack. Because we can attack well. Like, we can attack pretty solidly. Uh, ice arrows are probably not good against these things. Down goes one of them. Keep beating up the Frost Beast. Yay, we win. Edge and Zengetsu level up, which is cool. Gecko has joined the party. Makes sense that he's last. And that is uh, all of my party put together. Time to rearrange my party again because they keep rearranging it in ways I don't like. I want this. Let's stick with this formation, please. No, not you. You, 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 you. Uh, you again. I don't know. It wasn't worth it for the 9 HP, but whatever. High potion. Uh, I have a better axe for you, I believe. Yes, I do. Tenpo Gear is definitely better than what you've got. Yeah, Foot Ninja Gear should not be equipped. Everyone should have something better. Good. Welcome to Basement 3. There's no new enemies down here. Although we may not want to fight all the enemies with auto battle anymore. There's gonna be lots of ethers. I feel like they're expecting me to ninjutsu, and I'm not ninjutsuing. This fight's fine. Auto battle. Go. <laughs> Sorry about the lag on the crumbles. It's really pronounced when you're auto battling. Uh, basement 4 and 5 also have enemies. Uh, there's nothing over here. I'm gonna actually walk over here and check. We have a full party of five, so I feel a lot less scared of things going bad than otherwise. Easy guy levels up. I'm just gonna double check there's nothing at the end of that thing. Uh, this should be fine. Having a full party of five slow is not nearly as devastating. Uh, the hit on Zengetsu is not pleasant. Zengetsu levels up. Uh, let's heal you. Other people don't really need heals as much right now. 
Kogura another Kogarasu. I'm gonna give this to you. Because you're my other, like, main ninja guy. I want the Metal Boomerang Kogarasu combo. You are... Yeah, you're specifically right-handed, right-handed, right-handed. So yeah, they can't dual wield, which is unfortunate. But yeah, that's gonna be my general setup. Alright, we wanna stop. We wanna change rows. If at all possible, please change rows, someone. You heal her before she dies. Oh my freaking god, why? Why did you do that? Oh my gosh, the heal pill actually landed on her too. That was actually really well timed. Flame. Alright, uh, defend. We're gonna want you to flame. They really hate... Uh... You. Uh, easy way. Yay, more levels. Levels is good. Levels are good. Those are very good. I think I can auto-battle this. Stone Gaze is not that scary. It's a gradual petrify. We will need to heal up... Uh, you... now... No, no auto battle. Crap. Frick. And... Jitsu, Flame... Human Kite. Do it the one in the back. Flame. It made Flame a lot cheaper, I will say. Ninjutsu is a lot more reasonably priced. Okay, time to go. All out. There goes Human Kite, although you're not going to get that off because we finished the fight and easy levels up. More levels is more good. Always levels. Okay. Uh, Blood Bats I'm not scared of because Edge, uh, Tsukanawa, and Izayoi do extra damage to them. And Zengetsu, actually. We have four people that hit the Thor weakness, which is really good. Tent. We're most of the way through this. Ah, uh, no. Good. Flame. I just have to flame the purple whoever was, and then... With edge specifically because everyone else is kind of bad. Back to B3. Uh, there's nothing down there. Just double checking. Hey, it's a full moon. We took enough steps. Uh, that's kind of okay. This can be auto battled. I mean, it's not great. I don't really like the full moon. I will probably take a nap before I progress to the end of like upper battle since that seems to be what we're doing. Goodbye. Oh yeah, we didn't change Royce at all, so you know Gekko and Zangetsu could not hit very hard in that fight in that fight, which is why they weren't hitting very hard in that fight. Um This doesn't do anything. Right. That's just decorative. Uh why is there not yet. I will actually save though. And we're gonna use a tent here, just to restore MP, get back some HP, get off of the full moon. I don't care that much about waning. Waning is gonna be fine, I think. Although not ideal. Waning is gonna be fine. And it's nice that we have a leave the dungeon point. We're gonna head through here to the final floor. Oh, hello. It's Mysterious Girl. Yeah. I'm exploring down this little side area. 
We can easily take these out. Goblin captains are weak. Zero and egg. Lots of level. Restore weed. What does this do? Oh, cure status effects. Cool. That's good. I like keeping my healer safe. Uh, partial stone is fine. I'm not worried about partial stone at all. Jeez. Doesn't get two levels up. Could. Chain whip. This might be an upgrade for you. So your attack is 33 right now. If I were to chain whip you, it's 37. But what's the accuracy on this? So this is why I checked. We are not using chain whip. You are not using the chain whip. That's garbage. The accuracy is way too low. It's just way too low for me to consider using it. Preemptives is just we win. We're going to explore everywhere else. Yay, we win. Like, everything else just dies. Hi, Potion. Okay. Let's try this. Because we can't really do anything else. Cutscenes. This is a little bit of a long part, but, you know, I feel like we're just going to have one long part, because we've had a bunch of short parts. Yeah, I can't win. Uh, yeah, we should probably run. I have a feeling we're supposed to charge in for story, but I don't think we're actually supposed to leave the dungeon yet. I mean, if not, I've saved recently enough, like, I can reset if, like, there is something that wipes me. Good, we level up. We're gonna talk. Oh, good. I don't think we can run from this. Yeah, I can't escape. Okay. I don't know if I want auto battle on all the time, but... Okay, we can't do that. We need uh, ice. You don't have ice. You're fire. Uh, that's Izayoi. Or you. I suppose. That's probably bad. I think that's gonna be a wipe. Uh, no! That was, did a lot less damage than I was expecting. You did a lot less damage. Faraga for 300 damage is not impressive. Nothing? Okay. Uh, let's heal pill you. We can't really do anything here. I have a feeling this is mostly survive. Oh, maybe they come with any elemental... Nope. Never mind. They're just all pretty good. Nothing can be stolen. Okay. I'm assuming they probably don't really have anything to steal. We're gonna make sure we stay healed during this fight. Just make sure I drop heal pills on people as needed. And otherwise it's just attack, because I don't really see anything else to do. Okay, yeah, you're, we can't do damage. I have a feeling this is more of a scripted fight than a real fight. Can I hit the mysterious girl? I wonder. Uh, you can't heal, so just go. Uh, you heal yourself. Hit the mysterious girl. Let's see if we can uh, do anything to her. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. We can hit her. But then you counter with uh, this... What's this going to do? 
Not okay. Uh, we run away. I assume this is yeah. This is the smart move, or we try to run away. We have emergency exits. Oh yeah, smoke! Right, smoke! <laughs> we have smoke. That's also a thing. It's the crystal room. Yeah, this is a dead end. Unless we can drop into the underground. Oh yeah. That. Right. The drop down. Yay, the drop down. Trapdoor. Yeah. Is she actually coming? I'm gonna grab that ether and then go. I think we have to run from her. Yeah, we're just, I think we're just we're just gonna run. We're not going to fight it for it, we're just going to run. I don't think Ifrit's beatable. He certainly does not have a bestiary entry. Oh, uh, we can, actually. I'm pretty sure we can keep running. He's not even hitting us. Like, I don't understand why you guys have trouble with this. We straight up have not been hit. They're all starting to ask questions, which I think is cool. I like that they're asking questions. I want this treasure, though. Not very far, but let me grab this treasure first. Which would totally be suicide if this was actually, like, reasonable. Yeah, I want that elixir. <laughs> I want that. For sure. Probably never gonna use it, but, you know. We want it. No, it's fine. I feel like, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna try to make sure Tsukanoa gets his next line of dialogue off, because it seems like they're all going around. I'm gonna just let him get a line of dialogue off here. Just try to farm one just farm one extra encounter just to get the dialogue. Okay, you're repeating. Here we go. Remember this. Also, sorry for the very long part. Remember this time we remember the time we found the Falcon and Edge stole it? When, you know, we were traveling with Cecil, Rosa, Kane, and Rydia. You know, that, what a fun team. Oh, uh, there's no Falcon. Yeah, th th there's no Falcon. Yeah, you, Ed, there, Ed, there was no Falcon. Bye, Edge. Oh, 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 okay, Izuyo is going to. Okay, I guess we're all going. Good. I, I, I'm assuming these we survive and escape instead of... Yeah, uh, Mysterious Girl really does not understand. I'm assuming we'll all survive. That's not the order we jumped down in, but okay. Oh! Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Rydia and Luca. I assume the dolls are fine.
Man in black? Who are you? And that's definitely mysterious. But that's the end of Edge's Tale. We are officially done. Uh, next time we will be starting the challenge dungeon. I will definitely store my save data. You know, we're doing pretty well on levels. And yeah, next time we'll start in on Edge's challenge dungeon, which I'm assuming is going to be great fun. See you then.